Well, hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of, wow, September 28th, 2020. Sorry about that, I bought my computer there. Well, I've had people ask me questions about Trump and his only paying $750 in taxes. Unfortunately, I can't answer any questions about that, so sorry about that. And as far as the stimulus, sorry, the first stimulus goes, there are some deadlines you need to be aware of. The first one is September 30th, which is this Wednesday. This is a deadline for the people on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Retirement, or VA benefits. Who did not file taxes, they need to go use the non filer tool IRS website to claim any dependent 17 years or younger to get the $500 on them. And in terms of a second stimulus, well, the Democrats have actually released the second stimulus package, as you saw off the thumbnails, called the Heroes Act. Okay, it's not the Heroes Act 2, I just put that there because if there's some down version, so it's the Heroes Act 2. I will get into the details about that a bit later in the program. Um, Let's see here. The new package basically has a lot of stuff in it. I mean, a lot. And it's going to come in around about $2.4 trillion. Just like the Republican skinny bill, this bill isn't a serious bill. The Democrats just want to put this up there because now the Republicans are going to vote them out. <coughs> the Republicans will vote them out. And basically, uh, they just want to have this so they can show it to the constituents to say, look, we tried and it failed. So basically, this $2.4 trillion bill isn't going to have everything in it, and it's probably not going to get, it's not going to probably not pass either. And let's see here. Zoe said that this bill could reinvigorate the talks on stimulus packages. But this is where um, we talk about the presidential elections. Okay. We all know that the presidential elections isn't counted by popular vote, i.e. how many people vote for one person compared to the other person. It is determined by the Electoral College. The election is there are 538 electors in the college, so if the candidate wins the majority of the electors, they become the President of the United States. And how the number of electors works, well, each state gets a number of electors equal to the number of senators and House representatives it has in the United States Congress. For example, California has 53 representatives and two senators. So California gets 55 electors. And remember the $300 million left over from the last stimulus package and how, and basically Larry Kudlow is trying to repurpose this money in order to provide more stimulus for the people, well, the American people. And there's also $130 billion left over in the Paytech Protection Fund from the CARES Act. And like I said, I'm going to talk to you right now about what's in the new Heroes Act 2, as I like to call it, since it's a slimmed down version. And let's see here. Let's see if I can find it all for you. The new Heroes Act is 2,152 pages long. The revised bill includes a second stimulus check for $1,200 and $500 for each dependent. There is an extension of unemployment benefits of $600 a week till January 2021. Plus, housing assistance for is included to assist renters, homeowners to make monthly rent, utility payments, and mortgage payments. A second round of paycheck protection money is included with more strict regu regu regulations uh, and the PPP would target the smallest of small businesses. There will be assistance for restaurants and live venue 
operators. Airlines would be bailed out. The only assistance essential workers would get would be the state and local assistance. So essential workers wouldn't get laid off. Well, isn't that weird? I'm an essential worker and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get laid off. I got the papers and I work in a warehouse. I'm not a frontline worker. I work in a warehouse. I have to go to work every day. But I still have to deal with other people that are like paranoid of the crap. And who knows, those paranoid people are usually the ones who get it first. It seems as essential workers were slashed from this bill. There would be three hundred and sorry, four hundred and thirty-six billion to state and local assistance. There would be seventy-five billion going to fight against COVID and the research of it, development, testing, tra tracing, and treatment of it. There would be money for food security programs, SNAP, nutrition programs, and farmers. There is money for the post office and for the census. Schools would receive $250 billion to help ensure the CDC guidelines. So as I said, I gave you, this is basically all I got right now for what is covering that might help some people out. So as more information comes my way, I'll send it your way. But until then, you guys have a great day. And because I'm, I just gave you some actually, hopefully encouraging news. They might actually give us the, what's it called, the March to Common Ground Act. Because as we can see, the Democrats are playing games, just like the Republicans did with the Heels Act. Is basically the Heels Act and this new Heroes Act Two are basically we're basically are just basically joke um, bills. They're not going to be passed. I mean, they might pass the House, but they won't pass the Senate guaranteed because the price tag is too high. And so far, the Senate. I mean, we still have out there Donald Trump saying he found three hundred billion dollars to send out the American people a second stimulus check. It hasn't happened yet. He said that he's going to send out 33 million senior citizens a $200 discount card to help them pay for their prescription narcotics when for the copay. We'll see if that happens. I mean, if you remember last time, he offered up rental, he offered up, you know, eviction protection, which basically was a joke as well because it did nothing because he didn't write it properly to do anything. Oh my gosh, we just got so many complaints about everyone. We got. We even got Pelosi, the Democrats basically saying that they're not going to go after Pelosi to do the um, the discharge petition because right now is not the proper time. So we got like everything going on wrong with the Senate and the Congress right now, and the President. I mean you. I mean, throughout my thing, I'm sure you've seen the, the little pictures pop up of what's going on. This is basically what's going on. I mean, like I said, apparently. Like I said, Donald Trump only pays $750 in 2016-2017 taxes. People are saying he's broke, but if he's broke, how could he have the Trump Towers and have a multi-billion dollar business? That doesn't make any sense. But you're more than welcome to give me your comments on it. I'd appreciate it. And if you do like my content, please hit that subscribe button and let me know. Turn your notifications on and I will pump your brain full of stimulus information until something gets through to Congress to actually help the people out. So until next time, this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 28th, 2020. You guys have a wonderful night. Bye.